Here we go again. We're at Tardy today, as we can see. And we're hoping for a bit of a better ride than last time. Just kidding. Because <laughs> we're in the lakes. And here's Mark. And he's wrestling with Christian's bicycle. And here's Christian. Have we got Sean? Hello, Sean. How's it going? Yeah. <laughs> and Andy. Right. Better known as Trail Finder. Well, obviously only by people who watch his YouTube channel. I'm sure his missus doesn't call him Trail Finder. <laughs> but you never know. And special oh, guest, Steve. And today, we're off on a magical mystery tour. Because we've not been out with Andy before and we're going to show him some new stuff. So, let's get on it. Right, so we're at the top of the first descent now. I didn't bother filming on the climb because it's a climb and it's a push and it's rubbish. So let's do a panoramic of my face. My face spinning around in the countryside. Hooray! We're in the Lake District. And over there, that's where we're going in a bit. Right, right, we'll be good. Right, well, nice to meet you, mate, anyway. Yeah, yeah, cheers, mate. Cool. Cheers, right, you ready, guys? Sure. See you later, lads. Oh, here they are. Well, that doesn't often happen. Have fun. All right, mate. All right, bud. Woo! Oh, first descent of the day. It's always an interesting one. You don't get a chance to warm up beforehand, do you? This one's featured a few times before. You think I'd know the lines by now, but no. I touch it at the moment because now the bracken's come up. So the way you can see the lines before, you can't now. Oh, try that. Got that lovely rock strike there. Makes a change from it creaking the bloody bike. Funny enough, love just chatting to. He's doing this route because he's seen me do it. I hope he likes it. If you do, mate, let us know. If you don't, give it a try, do sell thumbs down. <laughs> I'm sure you will, though. It's very difficult to knock like this. It's bloody blinding. <sighs> this bit down here, I always got called a gift by someone. Someone from the... Oh dear. I think I caught a rock then. I went on a... Oh, happy days. <laughs> Bit of a tumble. I always have a crash somewhere. Sorry for holding everyone up. Let's go off again. Let's face it, let's get off again really, isn't it? I don't want to come off again. You know what I mean? <sighs> First crash out of the way. Weird. That probably looked like quite a big one. I guess it was in size and bike rolling, but not big as in the amount of pain. Loose today, he says. We're having a loose rocky trail. That's the end of the guy here. Ah, right, let's rock him now. I think. Ah. Oh, my God. I do love a good crash. Obviously. Ah. Woo. <sighs> Give myself a fist bump for that. But fist bumps are illegal on my channel. This is the trail that keeps on giving. It really is. It's a bobby dazzler. <sighs> Nice one. Oh. <laughs> you should have stuck to me bridle ways. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Did you have an off? Yeah. Oh, you're right, mate. Right, yep. you good? 
Yeah. Right, ready guys? Part two. Another bit that's properly overgrown down here. I do like this bit as well though. Wow, <laughs> talk about overgrown. Good God. I'm riding in the bloody jungle. I think we've been overgrown right, you've just got to watch out for rocks that you don't know where they are. Oh God, honestly, that's the trickiest pass I've ever been. Last bit sit right now. Hopefully with less bracken. Oh yeah. Oh I've got gore spikes in my fingers. <sighs> wow. And there we go. So the last time we come down like this end, we headed off in the opposite direction, down to Elta Water, and then went up onto Luffrig. But today we're not doing that. We're heading towards Coniston. All right, mate. Look at what you've done. No way! <laughs> Is that from your ouchie? That's eh? fucking you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Look at He's that. Too busy for anyone, thank <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, Andy's bike's got a lakes ouchie. <laughs> yeah, what? You're joking. That looks like. Yeah, it looks more like lacquer. I don't know. See, if you'd have bought an orange, Andy, you wouldn't have any of this problem. Yeah. I mean, you'll find out if it's suddenly cracked. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll find, find out. out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to swallow me stuck in your anus. That's the bit that would worry me, though. I'll give you a stop of noodle do stick a packet card. It's that <laughs> thick <laughs> that literally it'll hold it together forever. <laughs> well. God, just turn the camera on to puff and pants a bit, I think. Nice little climb back there. Didn't film it, obviously. Oh. There's Chris in here, some B roll. I need a loose soon, maybe we can do some wee roll. This is what happens when you get hooked to open a gate. <laughs> you can try to piss all you want, mate. I'm not the one who looks like fing <laughs> Tron today. And them glasses on. <laughs> Tron gone to seed. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of having his electric bike to sit now, he's now on a mobility scooter. Yeah, he literally is. <laughs> <laughs> My YouTube is Jason Love Tour doing he loves Degler. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget, thumbs down. Thumbs down. <laughs> not exactly a shabby day to be in the lakes, is it? It's actually a bit hot. Last time I came up here, Christian was supposed to go and do the ride, but he slept in. And I can remember walking up here and talking about whether he'd be able to do it on his e-bike. Let's see if he can ride up it. Five minutes for me to oh fix it. Dear. Well, that's just gone straight into there and goosed it. Where? How? What? Why? No idea. You could take it. It's a rear mech, isn't it? I don't know if it's a rear mech or the... The actual hanger bit. The hanger, because you can see it's, got a bit, it's off kilter there, isn't it? Didn't look enough to put off that much though in there. Well, as long as you stick to third, you'd eat, don't you? You will come on both sides. It's an e-bike, you'd be right, just don't go up the gears anymore. <laughs> just have to feel what we do. Pain. And he's off for a poo here. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any bog roll there? <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. I shouldn't force people into stuff like this, should I? Don't do it if you don't want, mate, honestly. I'm an idiot, everybody knows that. There we go. MTB stepping stones. Danny, what's his face? To be hopping across them, you know. Thinks he's on a bloody pogo stick. Alright then, off we go. So last time I came to do this, I got a flat and I basically tried to fix it, put my spare tube had a hole in it, so I ended up basically doing the whole descent with a flat tyre, which was a bit of a pain in the bottom. It's a real shame because it's, it's a lovely trail, and I won't say what it is this time, but that over there is called a snow man, and there's the copper mines. And this segment 
on Strava. And I try not to press much, but I can do this now. Go oh, fucking hell. And there you go. Oh, there's the bag full of bobbles. They're going to resurface it. So, best to get it in now before it's ruined. Which they will do, of course. Oh, that's nice. Really nice. Don't kill it. Fix the fells. Please don't kill it. Okay, it's just the right amount of bedrock, loose, gravel, twists, fun. It's even tiny bits of soil. If you like that sort of thing. This is one of the awkward bits. This trench is just a little bit too big to hop across, especially as the back side is higher than the front side. Well, let's continue. Oh, I can repave that bit there. Bones. Oh no, here's a gigantic boulder. Weird because most of it's in a straight line. You think, what fun could a straight trail be? But it's a straight trail with a lot of rocky obstacles. Bin bags full of. Bloody rocks, but he's ruining, which will commence shortly. Oh crap. Huh. I just don't get why. Does this look like it needs resurfacing? Does it look like it needs a big boulder set into it? Nothing funny, but it's pretty solid ground anyway. It being rock, you know, what are you? Nerdy mud trails? Maybe. But it's not a nerdy mud trail. Well, goodbye all right. It was nice riding you. Very nice. Well, fact, what else you to do now? And if anyone's wondering how to get the bags up there, they drop them off for helicopters. It's a good use of resource, isn't it? Oh well. And I realise I've just named it, but as it's probably not going to be worth riding again after they've resurfaced it, it doesn't really matter, does it? So there's quite a bit of this on the way back, unfortunately. I mean, it's not totally bad. Better than riding that road. There is other options, but it means a hefty old climb over that way. I'm going to do Iron Kells and then climb up again through Little Langdale and uh, when I suggested it there is uh, okay uh, not bothered and uh, well oh look that someone was going to kill me so we haven't bothered never mind now Christian really wanted to come here to Hodge Close unfortunately his bicycle didn't want him to but <laughs> <laughs> have a look down there we are talking one big hole in the ground. You know, nature is stunning, isn't it? But when you see stuff like that and you think, what, 150 years ago when they dug that out? Well, what man can do with like barely any tools is pretty impressive, isn't it? Yeah. They used to have raves in the caves here, didn't they, years ago? I think so. I, I never made any. I was always working in pub, so I could never make them. I think that's why Christian was desperate to come here because I think he probably did come here and get off his face and maybe he wants to see what it actually looks like because he can't remember. So I've not done this for a long time, at least not going down it. It's not a long one. He uses a climb, but not in a video. And what's nice about it is the noise. And that might sound daft, but it's slate, loose slate. And it just sounds amazing down this bit here. Listen to that. Woohoo! 
what you don't want here is a rock to fly up and hit you on the shin because god do they hurt with slate well all rocks do with slate because it can have sharp edges can't it Woo! that bit wasn't slate that was just loose gravel right last descent and it's a beauty and it's a bridle way so there you go Andy thought you'd be decent bridle way it really is just awesome this one never fails to deliver crashing it quite often but you know it's just good rocks roots fun lines everywhere every time you come down you go a different bloody way I don't know if Christian came down this on his way back after his bicycle out here. I hope he did. Because the other way down off this is crap. Like really crap. Woo! Quite tired today. It's been a big old ride really. Not in miles, but in effort. Especially with the heat as well. And there we go. Boring from there down, but you know, oh, so much fun. This isn't the pub. No, do you know what happened? The pub shut. I'm really gutted. What? Got myself changed, walked up to the pub, waited at the barrier in the pub with everybody looking at me like a dick. Guy walks up, we closed. <laughs> so, we're back. That's that. What a hell of a ride. Been a bit eventful with Andy and his hmm, potentially cracked frame and Christian and his rear mech and then Christian and the pub been shut and me and Andy got over the handlebars and Sean thought everything was all right so and we don't know what happened to Steve we think he did a tour of bins he, he emptied that one and off he went but yeah next week let's see what happens bye bye not Steve's yeah.